found out that you didn't get the starting job. How, how did you react? How did you feel when you heard that news? Yeah, I mean, it's obviously disappointing, but I think at the same time, uh, I said this from day one, uh, when the very first day I got here, is that don't let this competition overcome anything. Just come out and try to get better. And I mean, I feel like if I would have came out and, and played uh, played better, it would have been, been a different outcome. I don't think I've played um, terrible, but I didn't do anything to, to really jump off the page. I think I made strides and got better um, throughout the training camp, and that's what I wanted to do. So, I mean, obviously it's disappointing, but at the same time, um, I want what's best for this team moving forward, and I'm going to continue to come out here every day and, uh, and give it my all and continue to get better as a quarterback, and that's all I can do. Would you, was it disappointment or was there some anger involved when you heard the news? No, I'm, I'm, at the same time, I need to continue to to get ready to play whenever that is. So I, I wouldn't say there's anger. There's no there's no reason to be <clears throat> angry. It was a fair um, a fair chance on, on both sides, and, and they went with who they felt was, was right for the for the first week. So for me, I know that football is a game of, of crazy things. Anything happens, so I need to continue to, to practice and perform like. Um, like that would be fine. John, can you, you just go back and redo anything with the training camp, OTA, any of that stuff? Would you do anything differently? Not a single thing. Nothing I would change, nothing I would do differently. I feel like if I would have came out and made some plays and done better in the last two weeks, then it could have been a different outcome. But no, I don't, I don't feel that um, I would have gone back and done anything differently. Was it, you talked about the difference in playbooks and all that. Was it any bigger than you thought it would be the difference between a and M and the NFL. That's exactly what I thought it would be. I knew it would be a big step, but I, I, I obviously didn't know exactly what it entailed. But I knew it would be a big, a big jump for me in a, in a big learning process. I, and, and the thing is, people have really followed me since I had already established myself at A and M. If people would have seen me my first year and a half at A and M, they would have said, "No way, this kid can get to where where I'm at today." That's what people don't understand: is the first year and a half at A and M, I was. Terrible. <laughs> terrible. I would have never got to this point if I played like I did when I was at A&M that first year and a half. I just continued to try and get better, learn the playbook, got more comfortable around everybody, around the coaches with the system, and then good things happen for me. Once the real season starts, how do you get better when you're not going to be out there? I mean, I, I'm still getting plenty of reps that, that I'm getting in practice, and I think I need to make every opportunity that I have throughout the season count, whether it's practice, whether it's getting a chance to get in the game, whatever it is, take mental reps, continuing to... See, for me, I still need to learn how to prepare for, for an NFL week. I mean, I haven't even got to do that yet. These are preseason games. We're not pouring time in, into our opponent like we will um, in a regular season game. So there's still a lot for me to go through, a lot for me to experience, and a lot for me to learn. Jordan, does this good? make you even more determined, more hungry to, to get out there and, and win this job as soon as you can? I think, um, obviously, like I said, it's, it's disappointing off, off the bat. Um, and I think it does. I think it, it shows that I need to get better and I need to um, try and speed that process up as much as I can. I mean, the season's getting here, so um, you never know when your number could be called throughout the season. And, and for me, I know I just need to need to continue to learn and continue to adapt to everything that's thrown my way. Does it light a fire? I wouldn't say it necessarily lights a fire. It's, I mean, it's disappointing. Obviously, I don't. I, I didn't want this to be the outcome, but at the same time, I didn't. I didn't necessarily feel like I was. I was ready, and I felt like there were steps that I needed to take. I need to take to move forward and get better. And, and down the road, as the weeks continue to go on, I think I'll get better. So, does it light a fire? I, I don't really know if it does or not. In the Washington game, did you consciously try to resist running? No. Johnny, did Coach Penton give you any sort of indication of when that time would come? Like he told us, there won't be a package for you initially. Did he give you some sort of hope? Hey, if this happens, this is when we'll see you at by this time. I think. I need to earn everything that, that will be for me to get in. I need to earn it. I need to earn my place in this offense. If there's, if there's a place for me in that with whatever packages or uh, whatever could could come down the road. But, I mean, I need to earn everything. Nothing nothing should be given to me, and I completely understand that. I need to continue to come in here every day, day in, day in, day out, and, and get better and be around these guys and continue to let them know who I am and, um, and how I am. So, I mean, that's all I can really do. Did he explain his decision to you, Coach? I don't know. So they were going with Brian, and, and obviously to, to make the most of every rep that I'm getting in the time that I have in this building and, and just get better. I mean, that's all I need to do. I know that. I mean, he didn't need to come in um, and say that for me to, to know what I need to do moving forward. I mean, I'm smart enough to know that um, I didn't play to the best of my ability the last the last week, and I need to get better. And that's, that's really it. Should watching from the sideline be good for you once a regular season starts? I think it'll be, I think it'll be great. I mean, like I said, when I first got to a and 
if, if people would have seen me, they would have said, no way this guy goes on to do what I've done in the past in the past two years, um, three years. So um, for me, it's sitting back. I remember there was a time when I was at A&M, um, and I had to sit there in red shirt. It was, it was hard. It was frustrating. But at the same time, I got a lot better in that year and a half that I had there to sit and learn and watch. Um, so like I said, whenever, whenever my number um, is called, whenever it's my time, I mean, I'll be ready. Hey, Josh, you said that, that you weren't ready for the Steelers last week. I mean, how, how far is that step? Is it a big giant step, a baby step? I'm not sure. I just know you don't go from, I know you don't go from playing two years in the college and playing two preseason games and then saying you can come out and play just for the Steelers and the defense. It just doesn't, it just doesn't happen that way. So, um, I mean, I don't, I don't think that should have been much of a shock saying that, that, that I wasn't necessarily ready. It was two, it was a game into the preseason and um, now we're going into our third preseason game, get better, fourth preseason game, get better. And, and then uh, as the season continues to go on, get better in practice, get better um, just each and every day. That's all I can do. Johnny, what did you say to Brian, and what are your thoughts for him? Uh, I mean, we did, me and Brian really didn't talk much about it. I mean, it was a, it was a competition. I mean, um, you go for Brian. I mean, he's a, home, he's a hometown guy. He's a guy that uh, has been around this area for a long time. I'm sure it's I – mean, I know me being in Texas, if, if a Texas job were like that, it would be it would mean the world to me. So, I mean, uh, props to him. Johnny, what did you learn in the first two preseason games about the speed of yeah, it's, it's faster. I mean, it's the NFL. It's, it's extremely fast, and you have to be decisive and quick with your decision. Do you kind of flush and forget that little bit of playing time you had? There? I mean, it was a big game. You had a chance to win the job, but it was, uh, you know, a disjointed appearance, and uh, there wasn't uh, that much play to be had with the ones. From that standpoint, do you flush and forget? I think you learn from it and move on. I don't, I don't think you flush it. I mean, I think there's good things to be learned from, <clears throat> from that game. I mean, whenever you, whenever your offense isn't really moving the ball and you're kind of getting stuck, and um, you have to learn what you're doing wrong and, and figure out how to fix it. That's what you have to do. What about the uh, the times you got sacked uh, when you tried to run uh, and it was bottled up quickly? Uh, would you learn from uh, where your escape routes are from the three sacks and the, uh, the minus one yard run? Yeah, I mean, I didn't I didn't even really notice. I know that uh, as I was trying to get through my progression. On the on the first sack, it just it just kind of just kind of broke down, and I didn't really notice it. I mean, there's I mean, there's going to be lanes somewhere. You just have to be able to find them, and I need to do a better job of that if I am going to take off. Coach Pettin said uh, last night on a conference call that every single thing that you guys that you and Brian did from the spring up until now, A to Z, went into the hopper. So moving forward, knowing now that every every single move is watched, will you do? You know, anything differently moving forward? No, uh, I think I'm going to continue. I'll, I'll learn how, how a season goes. I'll learn how things go. Now, next time I come into training camp, I won't be surprised by it. Next time I come into OTAs, I won't be surprised by it. But to say, I wouldn't go back um, from the point after the draft to now and change a single thing. I'm going to continue to live my life, and and you know, off season is the off season. You know, I'm going to I'm going to travel places. I'm going to go places. I'm going to do things. And, and that's going to have no effect. Obviously, I need to do it um, in the proper way. But I'm still going to continue to have fun in my life and continue to live my life. Um, and I don't think any of that. Altered. I don't think any of that really slowed me in this competition. I think more than anything, if you come out and play well, it, it makes the decision a lot easier. If you don't, then it, it cloudies it up. And 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 what happened happened. Two more, please, guys. Two more. You've been really honest about the spotlight for the last two years. Do you think this maybe will lessen some of that? Do you get to step off the stage for a little bit? I mean, I'm a backup quarterback. I shouldn't be in the spotlight. Um, so who knows if that'll actually be the case. Um, but it would be nice. It would be nice. I don't think it's going to happen, though. Hey, Johnny, does it mean anything to you that, you know that uh, Kaepernick, Eli Manning, a lot of great quarterbacks didn't start their first game as a rookie? I mean, is that... Mean anything? Yeah, you don't have to come in. You don't have to come in from your first day of your of your rookie season and play right away. You don't have to do that. There's no uh, there's no exact guideline to how this process works with young quarterbacks. I mean, you've seen it each and every different way. Some ways it works. Some way um, some ways it doesn't. Um, so I think it's all about the person in that situation, how you handle um, your time with the scout team, how you handle your time with the twos, how you handle your time not getting those reps. You need to get them some way, whether it's mentally, watching the film, whatever it may be. It's all about how you react to uh, to this decision that was made today. For me, um, I need to continue to
do what I need to do to get better as a football player um, and, and get smarter and, and learn more about the game. That's And, and really make, uh, make the most of the situations that I have and control what I control, and I think everything will work out fine for me. Thanks, everyone.